Hi everyone and welcome back. So first we are going to take a look onto this table because this table is the, the overall story about testing library. Right? We are using different set of methods get by, query by, find by, which I have talked in the which I have discussed in the previous video. Previous to previous. In the previous video, we were just talking about get by. Okay. So it's easy like we can use get by alternate text, get by label, get by placeholder and all these things. But the only thing is if it doesn't find a match, then it is going to throw an error. This is what we, this is something which we don't want because it's fine if it is returning null, we can just assert it. Okay. If it is null and we are matching it with something else, then the test case will break. That's it. Right. So there is a difference between what this get by methods are doing, what this query by method is returning and what is find by method is returning. Okay. So let's go one by one. Get by if it doesn't found through an error, otherwise it will return the element. So everyone is going to return an element that is true because if element is found based on your query, get by alternate text, get by placeholder, get by label, get by role all are going to return the element or query by. The only thing is if it doesn't match then uh, we should be ready if it is going to throw an error, right? So get by is, is throwing error, find by is throwing error and the one which is not throwing error is the query by. We are just doing a query, it may or it may or may not return the element, it means it can be null. If you wanted to return the multiple element, we have already seen get all by alternate text, get all by label, right? It's going to return the multiple and it is the same behavior. It will throw an error, find by all, find all by is going to throw an error, but query all by, it's like document uh, query selector or query query selector all, it is going to return an error. It is going to return an array and from that array we can inspect okay the zeroth element contains this, first element contains this. This table is an important for understanding all these things and which is supporting the sync behavior. This is only the find by, right? If your content is rendering asynchronously, like let's say there is some API call and only after that your input text field is going to appear. So it's like async. You will await for that API response and then the text field will re render. Then you should do find by and you can wait for it. Okay. So these are major difference to understand all these three different set of methods on the screen APIs. Now coming back here, we have discussed all these methods. Okay. Get by role, get by alternate text, get by label, get by placeholders, all these things, right? So I wanted to cover all these things in one simple example and then we will move for further. So here you can see data text ID, right? This we have covered in the first video also. When there is a data text ID, you can simply uh, inspect it. You can simply get it just by using get by test ID. Okay. And pass your ID, test ID attribute value. And you can just check, okay, this element is available in the DOM or not. Then we have span tag or something like that like SVG which has a title right and delete these are the title properties right so here also I can use get by title in HTML elements we are providing these attributes title HTML for role uh, alternate text placeholder label these are the identifiers for the screen APIs to get the value okay like in the input text fields the the button label right all these are the placeholders or you can say the identifiers to get the value here the title is a property right here it can be the alternate text here it can be the content inside anchor tag here it can be the role attribute right and same thing we are doing uh, by first calling just a different methods get by text get by role get by alternate text right here we are getting by title and we are inspecting these are in the document or not here we are doing a get by alternate text and then you can just do the same thing that this is in the document or not. Here we are doing get by text, right? Get by talk text about. So here we are checking this element is there or not. Here we are doing get by role dialogue. So here is a dialogue attribute, right? So we are checking that. Okay. So this is all about how we can inspect the elements and how we can test them. 
So from in the next video, we will take a look on to a big React application, let's say to do or maybe a small calculator and we will inspect all these things.